Hey everyone, welcome to Medication Monday. This is where we go over a different EMT drug that we administer out in the field. We do it specifically in EMT drug card format. As always, follow your local protocol and scope of practice. Enjoy. Today's medication is called dopamine, and a common brand name for dopamine is Dopastat. So it falls under the class of inotropic agents, vasopressors, and catecholamines. Your mechanism of action of dopamine is that it produces positive inotropic and chronotropic effects. It stimulates the beta and alpha receptors, and it also induces systemic vasoconstriction, and it increases the blood pressure and the myocardial workload. So your indications are going to be the management of shock, bradycardia unresponsive to atropine when you're unable to pace or at least try to pace and also hypotension with low cardiac output. As always, before we get into dosages, always abide by your local protocol. Just because this is something that I abide by doesn't mean that your local protocol or scope of practice calls for it. So your dose is going to be an infusion of 5 to 20 micrograms per kilogram per minute, and this is going to be titrated to effect. So once your patient starts showing um, the blood pressure or the effects that you want, you're going to titrate it to that dosage. A common mix you'll see with dopamine is 400 milligrams in a 250 milliliter bag. So it could be of D5W or normal saline. And this produces a concentration of 1600 micrograms per ml. And so I want you to check your concentration always because this is just a very common concentration, but they do come in different ones. So your pediatric dose is going to be one microgram per kilogram per minute. And your contraindications are going to be hypovolemic shock, ventricular fibrillation, phaochromocytoma, tachydysrhythmias, and hypersensitivity. Some adverse reactions of dopamine can include headache, anxiety, palpitations, chest pain, nausea, vomiting, dyspnea, dysrhythmias, and increased myocardial oxygen demand. Dopamine can have some drug interactions, so MAOIs and bertillium may potentiate or enhance the effects of dopamine. Seizures, hypertension, and or bradycardia can occur whenever it's taken with phenytoin. Beta blockers can antagonize the effects of dopamine. A few side notes about dopamine. So your low dose infusions, meaning under five micrograms per kilogram per minute, can actually lower the blood pressure, essentially being ineffective and even dangerous. And that's something else I wanted to touch on. So if you're looking at a dose of two to four micrograms per kilograms per minute, this specifically dilates the vessels in the kidneys. Five to 10 micrograms per minute will create positive chronotropic and inotropic effects. And then from 10 to 20, you're going to see the primary alpha stimulant and the vasoconstriction. So just be aware, each, each little range definitely affects the body in a different way. It's very important when you're giving dopamine to make sure that your, your line is patent, so make sure to flush it a few times, check for signs of infiltration, inflammation, redness, things like that, because if it does infiltrate, dopamine can be necrotic. Also, most times you see an immediate increase in the blood pressure, but these effects will typically stop immediately after the infusion is discontinued. So unlike a lot of medications where the effects kind of linger, dopamine is not like that. It is always good practice to consider fluid therapy first. So if you're treating shock, don't discount fluid therapy. Definitely get your bilateral lines, start giving fluid, then next you can consider dope. Remember, as always, to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of local protocol or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Monday. Bye.